Compose too. Cups of rose. Hello guys. I look a little bit hit right now, actually. I'm a little bit nervous about prom. Let me tell you why. Let me get some good lighting. We got out of school at 11:30, and then we have a 15-minute meeting, which I didn't know about. So that pushes me back. My appointment, my hair appointment is at 12. Then my makeup is at 3. And I just don't think that I have enough time to do all this. Um, yeah, so I'm stressing, but I'm excited. Like, I think we're going to have such a good time. I'm really excited. Um, and then this weekend! This weekend? You guys don't even know. You don't even know. Hello, guys. So, it is prom day. It is my first and last prom. It is my senior prom and I am so excited. Here is my dress over here on the bed, which you guys will get a better look at later. So um, let me just run a few things down before I quickly jump in the shower because we are running on crunch time today, ladies and gentlemen, that is right. So um, prom is at seven. I have appointments, not back to back, but basically back to back. Um, I've rushed home. Um, to take a shower because if I don't take a shower now, I am not going to be able to take a shower at all. But um, I'm getting my makeup done and I'm also getting my wig just like um, touched up and I'm doing a half up half down. So the same um, girl who did my, my hair, um, she's going to do the half up half down for me because I don't know how to do stuff on wigs at all. So that's the plan. Um, so my, oh, and I have an eyebrow appointment. So my eyebrow appointment is at 12.45. It is like 12.10 right now, so I have to hurry. But it's not that far from my house, so we should be okay. And then right after is my hair appointment at 1.30. Um, but I might have a little bit of time in between, but I have to use that time to get over to my hair appointment. And then after my hair appointment is my makeup appointment. And then I head back home, get dressed, take pictures, and then go to prom. So it is going to be a long night, but I'm excited. And let me get in the shower and then I will talk to you guys after when I'm not stressed. <laughs> I can talk to you guys a little bit while I am waiting. So I also got my nails done. These are my nails. My first prom date, um, unfortunately canceled, um, very last minute. Um, so I had to find another date. Uh, I asked about 10 guys and they all said no. And then um, I asked um, one of my like middle school friends and he said yes. Um, we didn't go to school together, but we met in middle school. And he said yes, so um, that is going to be my prom date for tonight. Um, he has a very... He has a very interesting personality. So I'm excited for you guys to meet him. Anyway, so yeah, so that um, was my situation. Very stressful. Um, it wasn't that I couldn't go by myself because like I have no problem going by myself. It's just that I had already paid for it and um, altogether total tickets were $250 for two people. So I didn't want to waste that money because half of it was mine. Um, so yeah. Okay guys, so my hair is done. So um, it took about, I want to say 30 minutes. Right, that was a good 30 minutes and she did it super fast um i will leave her instagram right here because if y'all live in jersey you should definitely go to her she's super sweet i love her so much thank you for doing my hair so yeah now we are on our way to the makeup artist i am super excited i am nervous about the curls falling out of my hair but i mean we know how to curl hair so that's okay if it does happen i will fix it okay guys so makeup is done it is done my other mother's car broke down 
and she's supposed to take my pictures, so not great. <laughs> so this one over here, she's gonna be taking them. That's very big, is it? I think I think my makeup looks good. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? I'm excited. I think it looks really good. I can't wait to put my dress on. I'm so excited, and I'm just glad that everything worked out the way that it did, um, and that all my appointments are done because I was just stressful. <laughs> stressful. I'm gonna start getting ready because um, my date is on his way, and I should probably be dressed. Um, so I'm going to put this Sunset Glow Lotion on. It's from Bath & Body Works. My mom gave it to me. It's called Endless Weekend. So I'm going to put that all on my body first. And then um, after that, I'm going to um, sit in it for a little bit. Because I don't want to put my dress on right away. And then like have it like rub off or anything. So I'm going to do that while I'm waiting. I'm probably going to just uh, curl my hair a little bit more. And then put my dress on. I put my dress on. She's on, guys. Um, my ring light is over here. I'm going to take some videos and stuff before we go take pictures. Um, I'll show you guys what my dress looks like when I stand up. But here it is. Here's my dress. Here's the back. <laughs> I'm so stressed. There's just a lot going on in my days here. He's downstairs. So, say hi, Ethaniel. So, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We are about to leave really soon. My all my family is here, so I want to take pictures with them. I just put lotion on my feet, so I hope I don't slip down the steps. And she just wants to see what the hook on the back of my dress looks like, cause there's a hook. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> change out of my clothes and do other clothes for my college because I come home and all of this is on my bed it's so cute um I will show you guys like the whole thing since my makeup's done I'm gonna take pictures for uh, May 1st for commitment day I'm actually announcing my college tomorrow um so by the time you guys see this prom video you will know where I'm going but um yeah I'm gonna take some pictures so I'm gonna post uh tomorrow and I'm also gonna post on Sunday guys my head is so itchy it's really not giving right now I'm literally Ugh! but prom is so much fun um I got so many compliments all my friends look so good like I like my whole class looks so good the juniors look so good we had a combined prom it was amazing I didn't have a problem yet. She ha she is gonna make her dress, or she's planning on making her dress. We'll we'll see what happens. My nose is running. Apparently, Amari said her nose doesn't run when she gets her makeup done. But every time I get my makeup done, my nose just like runs. Does anyone know why that happens? Let me let me know in the comments if you do. My eyes look red. I promise I am not doing any illegal activities. My eyes have just been like burning. I think it's because I haven't been getting sleep, but so yeah, so I put this outfit on, my little LMU crop top that's a little bit too cropped, and some jeans, and here are my toes. My head hurts so bad, and I feel like I have a head cold, so hopefully I don't have COVID, but good morning, guys. Here I am after prom, the morning after. And I have so much to tell you guys. I have to head out though because I need to get my stuff ready for prom weekend. So I have to head to the store and I'm also going to look for some stuff for like graduation and all that fun stuff. But I'm hungry. I think I need to eat because my head really, really hurts. Um, but I have a little story to tell you guys and a little rant because um, of one of my TikToks that I posted that I have now deleted. But we're going to talk about it because I was getting some hate comments. So I will see you guys in a minute. Okay, hi guys. So I have reached my destination at the mall. So before I go in, I just wanted to like explain to you guys what my little rant was about. So basically, 
um i posted this tiktok and the tiktok was like this audio and it was like had to do with beyonce like and it was like oh like i want something big like i want something that says i'm here beyonce and like you transition when it's like beyonce whatever and i did that like it was a it's a regular transition video and like in the first clip like i was like oh me talking about prom and then like it was me in my dress in the second clip and i posted it last night i woke up this morning it had like 18,000 likes and like in the comments they were just like talking about like how they were it was a whole bunch of like hate comments like basically saying how like i didn't really look good and like they were like i like like they were expecting more um because like the audio was saying like oh I, I want something big and i was like to me like wearing yellow that's a big statement like that's a bright color i thought i looked really good um i was really happy with it someone was like that it doesn't even fit you and i was like the dress did fit me i don't guys i don't even know like people were like oh it's giving bridesmaid dress like it doesn't look good like um all this stuff and it, the sad part about it um which i think what why like i feel so upset with the whole thing is that it was black people saying all of this and i think that that hurts that hurts a lot um for like fellow black people to be kind of like you know not really saying anything nice about like you know the way that you look um i think that black prom is definitely something that ha has a lot of stigma behind it like just like they expect you to look a certain way like black people are expected to go big and beyond and i mean i thought i was going big and beyond i i feel like i feel like you know like i said i thought yellow was a bold statement but i don't know i i'm trying not to let it get to me because i know that i looked i looked good like i know that um but it did hurt like but you know there were some people saying like like back to the other people in the comments who were like calling me basic and all that stuff they were like first of all it, you're just saying that because like she doesn't have a whole bunch of feathers on her dress and all this stuff like and like it's not like custom made and this stuff like not everyone wants to do that like i i feel like like and wearing like feathers and stuff on your dress like that's totally fine i feel like everybody just looks so beautiful in their own way like i don't understand why like people feel the need to you know just be mean you know what i mean i don't know like i i definitely i think it hurts even more like not when it's just black people but when it's black women because i would expect you know black women to be uplifting other black women um but you know it's not always necessarily the case i guess as we see but uh yeah so that's what happened um but i'm trying not to let it get to me i deleted the video because i was just like i don't really need this negative energy um but if you guys want to follow my tiktok i posted a whole bunch of other ones um so my tiktok will be like right here also i don't know if i pointed this out but i got a piercing so see it you see it guys it hurts it hurts really bad i'm gonna go in the store now okay we're going to see seaside to go to the beach or whatever i'm 18 so i can have everyone in my car She's a liar. Hi guys, so I look crazy right now, but we got here. So I'm gonna give you a little house tour really quick. So here is the hallway um, leading up to upstairs. And then you go up these steps. Here is the first bedroom right here, right here. And then here's the first bathroom. Very nice. And then here are my little friends. Here's here's the kitchen. And then here's the little dining room. And then here are my friends. Say hi, friends. So here's this bedroom. Say hi, guys. This is my baby. This is my baby. Give me a brain trauma, please. Here's another bathroom, right here. And then here is another bedroom. And then here is where Ariana's parents are staying. And then all the way upstairs, this is where I'm staying. And then there's also the hot tub up here. So 
this is where we're staying. We're staying on the pull-out couch. And then, um, oh, and then here is our bathroom. And then, out here, hold on, guys, is the hot tub that we're probably going to get in later. And then here's the view. It's very pretty. And then there's some chairs. So, yeah. But yeah, so I will probably vlog later when we're all settled and we change and for our white our white lies party so i'll see you guys later or whenever <laughs> Which should I get? I like this one, but I like huggy huggy wuggy. Oh. Real women vote for Trump. We don't need your liberal chun. Real women vote for Trump. So we just chow down on the best empanadas I've ever Our had best in my empanadas entire life. Ever. Seaside empanadas, bro. Guys, Seaside. check them out. Liv put me on completely. I did. I put everyone on. She put me on. It was they were so good. Um, we are all gonna get henna's. Um I don't know what we're gonna get yet, but that's the plan right now. We're trying to meet up with the rest of the group and then have some fun. Tad it. Simone and I am a stripper. My name is Ariana and I'm American. Ooh. My name is Amelia and I'm an artist. My name is Morgan and I'm the Marlboro man. My name is Maddie and I'm a mouse. My name is Olaf and I'm Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Kennedy and I got ketchup. <laughs> I'm Olivia and I'm a two and I'm an orange. I'm Matthew and I'm a milk. <laughs> I'm Robin and I'm a robber. <laughs> we're Emily and Erica and we're emo.
we are leaving today. I'm so sad because I don't want to go home. <laughs> we had so much fun and now I'm packing. We're leaving in like an hour, so it's like crunch time. But we had so much fun and like I couldn't have asked for a better 2 day trip with any other people. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. Just It's just a preview of what summer is going to be like, so I'm super excited for that. But um, I'm probably going to end the vlog here unless I film a little bit in the car, but I kind of doubt it. So if I do end it here, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this vlog and I will see you guys in the next one.